it going everyone? Coach Jeff, Coach Nick here. We are here for the second half of the fall program techniques. We're going to show you how to, every technique you covered in the unit as well. And then the emails I sent out as well as the video description will highlight the techniques that will be on your test. First technique we're going to start off with today is your frame escape from the side control position. I will show you first, then we'll go step by step. Coach Sapp's got his side control as we covered, right? He's got a good head and arm control. He's chest to chest. His knees are in tight, tapering whiskers. Here's my frame escape from the side control position. All right, frame escape from side control. So first things first, my partner starts with the side control. First thing I'm gonna do, hence the name frame escape, I'm gonna use my frames. So one hand's gonna go on the hip, the other hand is going to go under my partner's neck onto the shoulder. Once I get my frames here, I'm going to now turn to my side and face my partner. As I turn to my side, no longer on my back, I'm going to use my frames and my feet to scoot my butt backwards. This opens up space under my partner's chest. I'm now going to take my bottom knee and bring it underneath so it connects with my elbow. Once I have my elbow knee, I can extend my partner away and recover with feet to hips. One more time. Step one, establish your frames. Step two, turn to the side. Step three, scoot your butt backwards with your frames. Step four, elbow knee. Step five, extend your partner away. That is the frame escape from the side control position. The second technique we're gonna work on today is your scissor sweep from closed guard. I will show you first, then we'll go step by step. frame escape we got to an open guard and then to our closing guard here so first things first I want to knock my partner over I'm going to start with a collar sleeve grip grip on the sleeve takes away his post this grip on the collar helps move his head once I establish these connections I'm going to open my guard turn to face my partner's uh, wrist here and get my knee shield so I jump out get a knee shield my top foot is going to make a hook on my partner's waist just like this Making it nice tight. Once I get my grips here and I have my hook, I want to now use my legs and slice my partner over into nut. I'm on top. One more time. Step one, I established my collar sleeve. Now that I have my two grips, I can open my guard, scoot away, and get my knee shield. My top leg here is going to make a hook on my partner's waist, making sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to use my legs and slice my partner over into the mount position. And that is your scissor sweep to nut. Next sweep we did after our scissor sweep was our flower sweep. I will show you the first, then we'll go step by step. So, first things first, from the guard position. I'm going to start with a two-on-one on my partner's arm, take away his post. Once I get my two-on-one, I take my hand closest to my partner's opposite knee. I'm going to swim underneath to make an underhook. Once I have an underhook on the knee, I'm going to now open my guard and bring my ear to that knee. I can use my underhook to pull myself towards this knee. Once I get my underhook here, I'm now going to take my leg that's behind my partner and swing towards his head. As I swing it towards his head, my leg that's on the hip is going to kick forwards, swinging my partner over to the mount. Just like this. And I'm on top. 
Okay. Okay. Step number one, two on one. Step two, I fish for the underhook. Step three, I open my guard, pull myself, my ear to the knee. Once I bring the ear to the knee, this leg is going to swing towards the head. This leg is going to kick my partner forward. This will be my flower sweep. So a swing and a kick. And now I'm on top of my partner, landing in the flower sweep. That is your flower sweep from the closed guard. All right, following our sitter sweeps and our flower sweeps, we landed in a good mount position. We're now going to get to a stronger mount and apply an arm bar from there. This is your high mount arm bar. This is what it looks like. High amount arm bar, the finish can be, you can finish it multiple ways, but here's how we're gonna get started. My partner has their arms just like this. The elbows are framed against me. This is as far as I can advance with my knees. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my double underhooks under my partner's arms. Once I get my double underhooks, I'm gonna crawl my arms up and then bring my knees up under the armpits. Once I have my knees up, I'm going to pick an arm get a straight arm for my arm bar. Now, to finish the arm bar, I want to check for my partner's thumb. It's currently pointing towards the camera. I want to pull it towards me. As I pull the arm towards me, I'm going to bridge my hips forward. And there's my tap. If my partner shares a thumb the opposite of this way, I want to pull his thumb this way. I can now bridge my partner's elbow over my own leg. And there's my tap. One more time. First things first, step one, double underhooks. Step two, crawl up and go knees up. Once I have my knees up, I'm gonna grab a straight arm. And last but not least, I'm gonna bridge into the elbow, pulling my partner's arm away from where the thumb is pointing. It points this way, I bridge this way, it points this way, I can bridge it over my own leg. And that is your high mount arm bar in top two. Okay, so we are now are going to learn how to skate from the back. As we worked on in class last month, here is what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is our pop the arm escape. I'll show you it first, then we'll go step by step. As we discussed in the back control class here, so before my partner puts the seatbelt in, if before my partner gets seatbelt there, so his arms are out, the first thing you want to do, of course, your back is taken, is have your arms here. This makes it pretty tougher for your partner to take a seatbelt. Now, of course, you don't want to stay here forever as your partner can fight over your hands and get that seatbelt or their choke. So, first things first, my partner gets my back, they have a seatbelt, hooks, they're glued to my back. The first thing I want to do, good strong habit, is get a two on one on the top arm. This is your choking arm. Once I get this two on one, I do not let go until I can now see my partner at the end. Once I have this two on one, I'm gonna dig my heels into the mat and scoop forward. Once I scoop forward, we'll start to clear his hooks and the back and chest connection. I am now going to pop the arm over the head, still holding on nice and tight. Once I pop the arm over my head, this takes away his seatbelt, but I still need to turn towards my partner. So I'm going to turn onto the side towards the arm and get to my knees. Just left me in a closed guard and I'm still holding his arm. One more time. We're here. Step number one, my back is taken. Two on one. Once I get my two on one, I'm going to scoop forwards, clearing my partner's back and chest connection and his hooks. Then I'm going to pop his arm over my head to the other side, still holding on nice and tight. With this arm still being held, I'm gonna to turn towards the arm and get to my knees. And we're here. That is your pop the arm escape from 
back to Troy. All right, now our submission from back control is going to be the rear naked choke, a staple technique in the arsenal of jiu-jitsu. I will show you first, and we'll do it step by step. Naked choke. So, for our previous technique, pop the arm escape, a partner will want a two on one on this arm, but we're not going to use this arm to get the submission. So, first things first, my top arm is going to make the letter V under my partner's chin. Try and align his chin with the groove in my arm. Once I have this V, my bottom arm is going to come out, and I'm going to use this to grab my own bicep. Once I grab my bicep, I'm going to slide this hand behind my partner's head onto my own shoulder. Last but not least, very gently, I squeeze my shoulders together, or my elbows together, sorry, and finish this submission. So I'm gonna make a choke, one more time. Step number one, I'm going to make a V under my partner's chin. Once I get the V, this bottom hand comes out so I can grab my bicep. Step number three, I slide this hand onto my other shoulder. Last but not least, I keep working nice and tight. I squeeze my elbows together very slowly to get the choke. And that is our rear naked choke from back control. All right, the final technique we have, a bit of a bonus technique, is our triangle from the closed guard. I will show you first, then we'll do it step by step. All right, so the triangle from the closed guard gives you access to submissions and a double whammy. So first things first for a triangle, I need one arm and my partner's head between my legs. So first thing I wanna do is make a diamond by going one in, one out. So I wanna pick this arm, so I have to stuff this arm behind my legs like this. So now I have my diamond with one arm between the legs. Step number two, I'm going to take my hand on the same side as the arm I have trapped. I'm gonna grab my shin. I'm never gonna let go of this shin grab because this arm replaces the lock I have with this leg. So once I grab my shin, I take my other foot, stomp on the ground, I'm gonna bring my ear to my partner's knee, similar to our flower sweep we did earlier in the month. This allows me to change my angle. Once I'm here, I take my leg and I lock it up over my foot. To finish the triangle, I gently squeeze my knees together and there's my triangle. So if I can't finish the triangle, I still have a straight arm. All I have to do is pull down nice and gently and lift my butt for the arm bar. There's your triangle arm bar. One more time. So step one, one in, one out. There's your diamond. Step two, grab your shin. Step three, angle change, Bring your ear to the knee. Once you have the ear to the knee, lock up your triangle. Gently squeeze your knees together. There's your triangle. Or bridge your hips off the ground and pull down on the arm. And there's your arm bar. So that is our bonus technique for the triangle plus the arm bar. That's all the techniques we have covered in the second half of the fall weekend program for 2023. I look forward to seeing you on the mats. Thanks for an awesome class.